Hello, this is a gospel reading and a short reflection for Wednesday the 26th of August. It comes from uh, Matthew chapter 23 from verse 27 to verse 32. Uh, Jesus is speaking. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which on the outside look beautiful, but inside they are full of the bones of the dead and of all kinds of filth. So you also on the outside look righteous to others, but inside you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the graves of the righteous. And you say, if we had lived in the days of our ancestors, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you testify against yourselves that you are descendants of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up then the measure of your ancestors. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, gentle Jesus, meek and mild. Uh, it's my birthday today, and I'm just thinking um, of the fairly numerous times, particularly when they have been teenagers, that my children have accused me of being a hypocrite. Uh, they're very quick to pick up on any discrepancy between what we adults say they should do and what we ourselves do. Uh, and that does happen quite a lot. So hypocrisy is the main charge that Jesus hurls against the scribes and the Pharisees. Five times, I think, in all in this chapter. And it's a particular kind of hypocrisy. Maybe every hypocrisy is the same. It's the difference between what we show on the outside and what's in our hearts. And we all, if we're honest, at least at some time, stand guilty of this, of gilding the lily, whitewashing the tomb, actually putting on a good show, making sure that people are impressed by us, that people like us, that we don't upset other people. People go away saying, oh, what a nice person. And yet, God knows, the outside isn't the same as what's going on in our minds and our hearts and our souls. We may want to be free from hypocrisy, but bear in mind the moment that we congratulate ourselves on not being hypocrites anymore, we'll be standing along with the Pharisee and the tax collector in the temple, while the Pharisee congratulates himself on being righteous, and the tax collector won't even raise his eyes, but beats his breast and asks God to be merciful to him, a sinner. Better to own up to our hypocrisy and bring it to God, ask his forgiveness, and most important of all, ask him, bit by bit, bit, working as he only knows how by his spirit, to change our hearts and minds, to be more like Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Prayer. Lord, you know our hypocrisy, because you know our hearts. Help us, we pray, to match the outer and the inner more closely so that we may be authentic people and authentic witnesses to your saving and transforming love. For we ask it in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Goodbye. Go well.